Ectus Awareness Series 3, Chart Depth Setting. Very important for grounding prevention. Good morning, third mate. Good morning, Captain. How's it going? Very well, sir. We have no traffic and the weather is good. That's good. I am looking forward to our port call tomorrow morning. Me too, sir. Very good. Our arrival draft is 9 meters and the coastal and port area may have many shallows. So I would like to reconfirm the ECDIS chart depth settings on the arrival ENC. Aye, sir. Here you go, sir. Thank you, Third. It looks good. Our chart depth settings are in order. Third, do you know the importance of the ECDIS chart depth settings? Yes, sir. They are important. These settings organize the display of safe depths and unsafe depths. Yes, that is correct. There is no traffic and the weather is good. How about we refresh our knowledge about chart depth settings? Yes, sir. That would be great. Contours, as you know, are lines on a chart that join equal depths or equal heights. Chart depth settings refers to the value inputs by the user for the shallow contour, safety contour, safety depth and deep contour. Yes, sir. But, sir, how are these values decided? Good question, third. The ship's master decides the values of the chart depth settings as per the ship manager's guidelines. But the first important thing to understand is how the Ectus selects the contour for display. Most ENC cells usually only contain depth contours such as a 2 meter, a 5 meter, a 10, 15, 20, 30, 50 meter, etc. The Ectus is programmed to display depth contours equal to input values or the next higher available contour. For example, if the safety contour input is 15 meters, a 15 meter contour will be displayed. If a 15 meter contour is not available, the next higher 20 meter or higher contour will be displayed. Another example, as in our case, we have an input of 13 meters, but ENC does not have a 13 meter contour. So the Ectus will display the next higher available contour, such as a 15 meter. I could understand it very well. I will explain the display with each type of depth contour and safety depth in a default setting of four color display. The shallow contour outlines the shallow waters of high grounding risk. Depth less than the shallow contour is shown in blue color. The vessel should never enter this area. Corresponding to the safety depth settings, depths that are equal to and lesser than the safety depth will be shown in black bold fonts and soundings deeper than the safety depth in gray color. The vessel must not plan passage over black bold soundings. However, if needed, a vessel may do so only after confirming UKC in compliance with the ship manager's guidelines. The safety contour is the separation line between navigable water depths and depths less than the safety contour. The safety contour's value is equal to or greater than the safety depth. Waters between the safety contour and the shallow contour 
are shown in light blue color. As per regulations, the ECDIS should give an alarm if within a specified time set by the mariner, his or her own ship would cross the safety contour. Usually a vessel does not plan a passage or cross the safety contour towards the depths that are less than the safety contour. However, when necessary, a vessel may do so only after confirming the UKC and marking the no-go areas in compliance with the ship manager's guidelines. Third, let me share another important information about the safety contour and the isolated danger mark. The generic isolated danger mark symbols identify the navigational dangers that have safe passing depths less than or equal to the safety contour setting. It is important to note that the safety contour setting governs the display of the isolated danger mark symbols. By default, all ECDIS display these symbols only for the dangers that lie on the deeper side of the safety contour. When these dangers lie on the shallower side of the safety contour setting, or when these dangers have depths greater than the safety contour setting, they are displayed with a black dotted line around them. However, do take note that on some ECDIS, such as in the case of the Furuno and JRC ECDIS, the user can select a setting to show isolated danger generic symbols also on the shallower side of the safety contour. Therefore, the user must make the correct safety contour setting on the EGDIS. In addition, when planning courses or navigating in the vicinity of such dangers, please check their details in advance by clicking on the respective symbol which will open the additional information about the dangers. Thank you, sir. This was indeed very useful and important information. The deep contour outlines the limit of deep water set by the user. Waters between the deep contour and the safety contour are shown in grey colour. Waters deeper than the deep contour are shown in white colour. Now, let us look at the kinds of color displays available in an ECDIS. The ECDIS has two kinds of color settings, two color and four color. By default, the ECDIS shows a four color display. We have seen the four color display with the earlier explanation. Now, let us see the two color display. Yes, sir. The two-color display is simpler and it shows navigable and depth areas less than the safety contour in two colors. The two-color display is preferred by pilots and navigators, especially in shallow waters and during night navigation. The two-color display gets enabled by selecting the two-color depth setting. In this display, the light blue color from the four color display is replaced by the blue color. Thus, the area between the safety depth and the zero depth is shown in a single blue color. The gray color from the four color display is replaced with white color. The white color indicates safe waters with depths greater than the safety contour. In some cases, one may be able to navigate beyond the safety contour, but must keep clear of the depths less than the safety depth, indicated in bold black font. Sir, now I understand the difference between four color and two color displays very clearly. I hope you found this discussion useful. Yes, indeed. I could refresh my knowledge of chart depth setting. Thank you very much, sir.